Hey fish friends, Michael here. Today I'm going to be showing you step by step the things you need to do for a deep clean on your high tech planted aquarium. This should be done once a month and it's different from the weekly water changes where you drain down some water, scrub the glass, take care of a few quick things and fill it back up. First thing is test the water. I like to test my nitrates about once a month because it's a good indicator of whether or not I'm fertilizing properly. If the nitrates are too high, cut back on ferts. If you don't have any, your plants might not be getting enough nutrients. Even the nicest planted tanks get some algae in them. The key is to stay on top of it. I've got a bit of a hair algae outbreak at the moment and it's growing on some moss, so I'll just rip those chunks out. Healthy plants grow quickly and need to be trimmed every now and then. Although it sounds counterproductive, trimming is the best way to get plants to fill out. I like to use my hands a lot, but sometimes scissors are easier. Every time you cut a stem, two heads will sprout from it. You can also keep your clippings and replant them, so each trimming session will result in denser plant colonies. Now it's time to replant the clippings. It's worth investing in a nice pair of long aquarium planting tweezers. All you have to do is grab and plant. I've been pretty busy lately and honestly have been keeping up with my filter. That's why the current is so low and that's not good for filtration or CO2 distribution. It's probably the reason I have so much hair algae building up. So at least once a month you'll need to clean out the tubing and sponges. I usually clean my sponges out once a week. A few times a year you'll need to do a really deep clean and clean out every component of your filter, especially the impeller. Henry always likes to check things out and I appreciate his help. Drain down 50% of the water. Every tank has spots where gunk accumulates. Hit those with the siphon and then do the rest with the big hose. I drain into my garden in the summer and into my shower in the winter.
clean the glass. This one's pretty self-explanatory. I like my blade on a stick. Use a sponge near any silicone. Refill the tank with the same temperature water and make sure to use dechlorinator. While the tank is filling, it's a good time to do a quick check on your equipment. Make sure that the fertilizers aren't empty and that the tubes are running. Check your CO2 and that any other equipment you have is working. Do some last minute scrubbing, pick any floating plant debris up, and last but not least, wipe the glass down with a towel for a crystal clear finish. That wraps it up. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one.